This video has been made available thanks to 42nd Street Photo. Celebrating over 50 years of service in the photography and video industry, check out their full line of products at 42photo.com. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Today I have a, a new product I want to show you. This is something brand new that just came out from Element Case that was uh, sent to me free for review when we have the Element Case Solus case. And uh, this is a, uh, for the iPhone 5 and also the 5S. Even though know, the packaging does not yet say 5S on it, it does indeed work for the 5S, and I'll show you uh, why that is the case. But so basically, this is the packaging of the case here. Pretty nice packaging that Element Case usually puts out there, just a little bit of information. Pretty simplistic, but some uh, a nice presentation. Let's go ahead and slide this out, and then we have the box right here. So keep in mind, guys, this case retails for eighty dollars, which is uh, quite expensive. It's actually one of the cheaper cases on Element Cases website, though. So it's one thing to remember. So there's the case right there. Very nice looking case. This case is available in uh, in black, which is what I have here. They also have a gray, a red, and a blue. So. We'll show you the details, details of the, the case in just a second, but I just want to give you guys a tour of the box really quick. Some people are really interested in what comes with it. So here, obviously we have the, the tool here. This is another one of those cases that does uh, need to have the screws removed in order to put the iPhone into the case. So here's the screwdriver here, which has a built-in keychain, and also it does include two extra screws right there in case you do lose the screws there. And the case has four screws in it. And here's an instruction manual, just kind of show you how you install the case or how you install your phone in the case, and also they include just a little element case sticker. So those are basically all the pieces that come inside the box. All right guys, so here we have the iPhone in the actual case itself. As you can see, everything lines up really well, looks really sharp. Let's go ahead and do the walk around of the phone inside the case, and then we'll talk about the actual case itself. Get to the top right there, you see we have a standby switch, like I showed you guys earlier, it, it is being covered up, but it has a nice little aluminum button there, so you can still kind of feel that click when you press down on it. Get to the other side right here. We have one little opening for the, uh, the the volume or the mute switch right there. Pretty easy to get to even if you have larger fingers. And then the volume up and down buttons are being covered up by these uh, aluminum buttons, but you can still feel the click as well with these when you press them down. Get to the bottom right here. One big long opening here for the, uh, the headphone jack, the microphone, the lightning connector, and the speaker. I did notice that unless your uh, your third, your lightning connector is one of those normal th smaller ones like the one that the, 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 the iPhone came with, uh, it may have trouble finding or may have trouble fitting in there. I do have a couple connectors that did not work with this case because they were just a little bit too tall, so they didn't fit in, in that opening right there. As you can see, the uh, home button is not being blocked off or covered up, so you can use this with the iPhone 5 or 5S. This obviously is the 5S I'm using right now. Get to the top of the camera, nothing else is on there. We do have a, a slight, very, very, very slight lip on the edge right there, as you can see. So if you do put this face down on the table, it's, uh, it's not really going to be touching the screen, but it's just not much of a lip at all, so I would still be mindful of that. If you were to drop it really hard face down, you probably could still scratch it up a little bit. Uh, also, get to the back, and like I said, this does work with the 5S. You can see the larger flash right there. It doesn't get blocked off or anything, even with the edge of the case, because it still has plenty of room, and uh, the camera doesn't get blocked off or nothing's in there. So that's pretty much that. Um, as far as uh, this case itself... The only two negative things I have to say about the case is one, to install it, you do have to remove the four screws. So those are those four screws I mentioned earlier. It took me about two, three minutes to take each of them off. They're really, really tiny screws, kind of easy to lose. They do give you two extra ones. But you have to remove those four screws whenever you want to swap out the case. So if you're the type of person that likes to use lots of different cases and you do want to swap your case pretty frequently, that's going to get annoying for you to have to continually take out those little screws every single time you want to do that. Plus, you have to keep the screwdriver with you, uh, I don't know, in your, on your keychain or in your purse, whatever, just to keep it handy in case you do want to remove the case off of there. So, um, that's just one thing. The only other thing I've noticed too is, especially, probably especially with the black one right here, and I'm not sure if it's showing up on screen right now, but because it has that matte finish, if you do handle this a lot, it tends to get real oily, as you can see right there. That's kind of that weird smudges. And that's just kind of the nature of this material, this, the polycarbonate matte finish, that real soft finish. Um, any type of products that use this type of material usually tend to have that weird oily look to it. So it's not a really big deal, but I know there are some people that make a, that are kind of anal when it comes to that type of thing. They don't really like the way that looks. Um, you know, and for me, I could just take it here, wipe it on my pants a couple times, and it pretty much goes away for the most part. So just one thing to keep in mind, those are the only two negative things I have to say about it. Um, overall, it's a really nice case. It does a good job of protecting the iPhone in what, while it's inside there. And uh, you know, Element Case is probably one of my favorite case makers out there. They have a lot of really cool cases. I've been, 
I've been keeping track of Element since their very, very first case came out. Um, I think it was for the iPhone 4. And uh, so they've done a really good job of kind of stepping up and kind of having different style of cases. Uh, this is one of the first um, Element cases I've actually had a chance to review and test. I actually have a back that's, in, that's part of the actual case. Usually their other cases are just the aluminum bumper and then the back piece is just a, a sticker that you stick onto the back of your phone, whether it's a felt fabric uh, sticker or like a, a carbon fiber type of thing. So this is actually one whole piece. They do have a, a couple other cases out there that do include the back as one whole one whole part. But for me, myself, uh, reviewing them on my channel, this is the first one I've ever had a chance to review. And I like it, it's pretty nice. It does refill at $80, so that is quite expensive for the average person. But uh, for those of you that are the type of person that do wanna just buy one type of case, stick with it, keep it on your phone, never take it off, well then maybe you can, uh, maybe you can, can overlook the price and uh, and you know that you'll be getting a good quality product. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about the uh, Element Case Solus for the iPhone 5, 5S, go ahead and post those questions below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video review.